Hello everybody and welcome back to Pumpkin Days where today... Oh, I've been terrible, haven't I, with the TV lately? Scrambled eggs, nom nom nom. Eggs and salt. But yeah, I could do with putting curtains in, I could do with all sorts of stuff. But I still don't know how to make dyes out of... And I'm assuming you make them out of flowers or something like that. Uh, so everything that I'm going to make at the moment would be white. So what I'll probably do is use my money to buy things in the store. Because that would be much more useful. Hello Ian. Stegosaurus. Right hind... Left hind femur. Sorry. I promise you all the stuff he's going to give me will be stuff I've already got. We might come up with something rare eventually. Right, so now I shouldn't, I don't think, I don't know though, whether once you get them to 10, you've got to keep brushing them. So um, I'm going to brush Courtney, definitely. Might just be the bubbles needs a tiny maintenance brush. I do need to still milk them. Big pig now, Lolly. Is there anything I can harvest from you, or are you just for meat? Looks like you're just a meat dude. I, th I think, anyway, or it might be that you rarely get truffles or something like that. Yeah, hovering over Lolly, it doesn't look like there's anything I can get from them. Whereas Brianna. It's a milking goat! Yay! I'll make some goat's cheese out of your milk, I think. See how much that sells for. And bubbles? I think bubbles should be giving me four milks a day now, which is great. Let's just go and milk you. Oh, it's three. Okay, so it must be three for a ten heart cow. Okay. Still better than nothing. Well, you gave me four. I'm assuming that's because you didn't get milk yesterday. So you're still on two. Jen, oh, Jen, come back here. Ah. <laughs> okay, there we go. Sometimes I get confused as to whether I've actually got the the thing activated or not. Uh, Mona's wool, which is useful for making beds um, and curtains and things like that. As I say, I don't know how to dye it yet. I will be trying to work that out. Dashing. Trying to get them to love me even more. Brianna, I can just pick you up. Okay. Uncle Tommy, I haven't. Tended to you so that. It took, it took a, a while just to look after these guys today. I'm sure there's probably someone I missed. Always is. I think I got most of them though. As long as I don't miss the same one every day, that's the main thing. Oh no. Oh no. The poop apocalypse has started. Yeah, I need this wedding happening right away. I need help with the poop apocalypse. And I also keep giving Tierra her pancakes because I think she may be ready for yellow stars today. So this might be an episode or two where just everyone starts moving in, which is amazing. But 
I think I need to be prepared to put more beds in everywhere though, you see. And just to make the houses a bit nicer, but uh, as I say, that's just going to happen over time. I'm going to slowly get things sorted out. I'll, I'll go to the mines and things and get things, uh, get nice looking gems and I can make nice tables and things. It'll be good. At the moment, my money's really low though. It's so low, it's so bad. So I'm thinking, what can I do? What can I cook? To make that a thing. So I definitely, I'm gonna put a kitchen in every house. That's gonna be definitely a thing. I've got my kitchen, my large bland kitchen here. But from my other house, I can just pop in here. I can cook anything that I want on it. So say I just needed to make a couple more pancakes for Tiara, i just cook them. Don't have much honey left though, so I need, as I say, I'm gonna probably do a lot more with the honey going forwards. I don't think I've got a lot of. Mostly lemon, isn't it? Cookie batter. Try and make some of the different cookies and just see what they sell for. What does the meatballs actually sell for? I wonder. I'll never know. Seaweed soup. Crab quiche. I could make four of them. Yeah, I sell for an okay amount. Um, anything else that looks kind of cool. Like I say, I definitely need to do wasabi and garlic in the spring grow them up and get lots of them because they are needed for a whole bunch of stuff. Now, I'm going to be much more able to do ice creams now. I will be making lemon ice cream every time. Um, let's see how much the lemon ice cream goes for. It's only like 50 or something, it might be better to keep it for something else. Yeah, okay. Hmm... A lemonade. That's two lemons to one sugar. Only 20, so that's pretty terrible too. Let's go make some dough and see about some pizzas. I'm just kind of interested in what they sell for and if there's anything that I've missed that could be a really good, a really good selling point. So maybe things like sandwiches and pizzas and things might be good. So just a standard cheese, Hawaiian, can't do that, herb I can do. Spinach and mushroom I can absolutely do. Vegetarian, I need to wait for my olives to be ripe and then I will be able to make tons of those. Let's try and make a spinach and mushroom and see. That was hard to make utterly not worth it, price-wise. Pasta, I don't actually know how to make noodles yet, so that's an unfortunate part of not being able to make pasta, isn't it? So I'll wait for that to come up. Candy jam cookies, okay. Let's make some cookie batter, shall we? Maybe let's make five cookie batter. Let's make ten. And I'll see what kind of cookies I can make, and if there's any of them that sell for really good amounts. Again, we're just having a little, a little check on these things. Uh, don't have cocoa powder. Don't have chocolate bars. Don't have any cocoa yet. I'm waiting for a lot of my stuff to come through next year from Wahoo Beach to be able to make a lot of these. Peach almond squares, pumpkin. Raspberry cookies, rhubarb cookies we could make, salted cashew, macaron, so I need almonds for a lot of this. So I'm going to make um, a, a raspberry cookie. 
How much does a raspberry cookie sell for? 60. That's not too bad. Um, only others I can make. I could try and make a pumpkin one. I will be using one of my substitutes, unfortunately. Let's see what that sells for. That's 70. That's, that's okay. So not got the best. I think I'll be enjoying making brownies and things like that eventually, but uh, we'll leave the cookie batter. Maybe I'll pop all of these into the fridge or something. I'll sell the ice cream, the lemonade, and the pizza. I'll maybe put the, put the cookie batter in the fridge. Peach and almond. I believe if I use cookie batter... Uh, it's hard to do experimental stuff up here, though, because... So it's easier just to wait for the recipes to come to me, but I believe that there's a, a, a um, pistachio and apricot version of this. I accidentally found one I was looking for something else, but, you know, I, I haven't had many recipe spoilers, to be honest, and mostly I don't experiment with them anyway. But I wonder. Because if I could do that, um, I'm going to, I think it might be worth actually riding over and getting the stuff for it. Because if I could do that, then that would mean I could actually start using some of those pistachios up for something. <laughs> Let's ride over here. I love my house. Oh my goodness me. It looks like a gingerbread fairy tale cottage or something. <gasps> Not to everyone's taste, I'm sure, but it definitely lifts it as well makes it look a little bit less uh, like this crazy thing in the middle of everywhere okay so I'm wanting out of the fruit fridges um, probably this one because there's some fruits that are not the right type in here so I'm wanting apricots And I'm wanting a whole load of pistachios. And then I think I want sugar and cookie batter. Okay, let's see if I can make one of those. Because if I can, then, then I can pull from the fridges. Once you've made the recipe one time, you can pull from the fridges. Until then, it's kind of like you've got to take things out of the fridge. Actually, I can do it here because there is a kitchen here. That'll be the best way. So in this kitchen, I think there is actually more that you can make. Um, so I'm going to have more missing recipes here than I've got anywhere else. I don't think I've got any more categories. Wheat bread sandwich, sushi, pizza, pasta, candy, jam, cookie, fruit, pie, ice cream, curry, liquor, fish dishes. No, I don't think so. I think I can make some slightly more complicated recipes in this one. So, because you can cook with um, six experimental ingredients here. Pistachio, apricot, sugar, and cookie batter. I need to double check it. Oh, peach jam? So do I need to make apricot jam first? Ooh. Okay, let's go back to experiment. Um, jam, do I have apricot? Cook an apricot jam then. Okay, so apricot jam, pistachio. No. What? I'll try apricot pistachio. I will. I'll try that then. But uh, I may have to wait for the actual recipe. We'll see. No, we did it. Okay, cool. 
cooked pistachio apricot square. Wonderful. So I can go put all the stuff back in the fridges now, except the bits I want to sell. But yes, we can use all, if I make loads of cookie the dough batter stuff, I can make loads of them. And how much do they sell for? They're only 60, but honestly, because the pistachios sell for three. The cookie batter sells for 25. And the apricots sell for three. So that's a good markup. Apricot jam sells for 40. That's probably what I'll be doing, honestly. All right, so put the pistachios back. Put the sugar back. I'll sell that jam. I'll put the cookie batter in, I guess, with the flour and sugar. I'll probably use that really soon anyway. Sell, 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 sell. Apricots back in there. It's still not quite there. Like I've still got like a few things in the green fruit one that should be in other fridges, but uh, not too worried right now. I probably will at some point get better for that and sort it out though. I don't know if some of those are different way around to the other, because some of them have the honey on the back and some of them have got the honey on the front. But yeah, I'm gonna be um, limited to that recipe as to how by how much um how much cookie batter I have. Cookie batter is made from flour, butter, and sugar. I have a lot of all of those. So I don't need like eggs or milk or anything for that. I can use my substitute butters and things like that for it. However, those substitute butters do sell for like 20 each. Flour and sugar is cheap. The butter's probably like the most expensive part of that equation, honestly. Okay, I'll make 50 cookie, cookie batter then. And I shall make fifty-seven pistachio apricot squares. And we'll start to get through the pistachios that way, which will be wonderful. All right, I'm going to do a little bit, little bit of selling now. I think go to my sell box. Lemonade, lemon ice cream, apricot jam, pumpkin cookie, raspberry. They're all things I can make again if I need. Get rid of that disaster dish that's been clogging up my inventory for goodness knows how long. Oh, and there's crab quiche that I wanted to sell as well. And a daisy. Anything else? No. the fertilizer barrel down as well I don't know why I, well I picked that up to rearrange things and I'm still kind of sorting things out from where I rearrange things I'm gonna put a couple of these cupboards up in this house I've got to find the right uh, the right ones so Is it back to front? Is that why? There we are. So that's a brown cupboard. Problem is, I've got no idea what colour they are. Oh, I managed to get the two brown ones on the wall there. That's that's really good. I like that a lot. That's very cool. And then these guys can maybe go in the bigger house. 
I'm just going to put my bug nets in here for now. I will keep the best one. So, like, spare tools and stuff can go in there. I don't know what else I'd want to keep in there. Spare feed, probably, and fodder and stuff like that. So I might just go and buy a whole load and then chuck them in the wall cupboards. That might be good. My inventory is still a bit of a mess, I know. I am aware of this. But yeah, there wasn't really anything that I was like, oh, this is an amazing cash cow. Not like the jewelry and pancakes. They are so good. They're so worth getting extra honey production up and running. Well, I'll have plenty of durians from, you know, my little plot down there. And, and till the autumn and winter, I'll get the most of them. But there might be other pancakes I can get. And honey, like, added to, like, apple pancakes or something. You know, if they sell for a good amount, that might be really cool. Okay, I think... Mm, we're not even going to get to see Nicholas, are we? All right, let's go to Spoonie Island quickly. And then I'll spend some time tomorrow... Today was about making a bit of money, honestly. I still might make some more different recipes. I'll have a look at what I've got. But having the kitchen in two places is quite handy. Should we actually find Tannis' keys? She literally dropped them there. Seems a bit mean to have just left her without them for so long. I've got your keys. I've got your keys. I've got your keys. I've got your keys. Whatever. No. Whatever. I've got a quest reward of honeyfish. I think I know someone who would really enjoy some honeyfish if he's around. I think Vipa likes fish recipes. Yeah, you're there. Uh, so I'm going to give that straight to you as a gift. What? You woke me up for that? Oh, no. Oops. Okay. <laughs> he obviously doesn't like honey fish. I'll just put it in my fridge then. I thought he liked fish recipes. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not once with honey or something. He just uh, really, really doesn't like honey. He's like the opposite of Winnie the Pooh. Okay. Let me see if we can find Tiara. She's not in her usual little spot. So let's try down by the graveyard. I might be able to cheat it because I might be able to actually get... Um, I mean, the, the flower thing. Because uh, Nicholas lives with Sebastian and I can get into Sebastian's house. Mm. Might be able to cheat, cheat that one a little bit. You didn't have to. This is way too nice to give to me. Um, excuse me, I think I got something in my eyes. Okay, so how are we doing? Oh, yes, yes. So if I can make enough money, and this is why I'm trying to make money today, if I make enough money to get like ten thousand in the bank by tomorrow. So about another 7,000. We've sold 50. So it's 5 times 6, 30. I reckon we'll make about 3 grand from what I've already sold. And probably need another 4 grand. Mm. Where's Sister Abigail? I need her for stuff. Never around. I'll just check the pub. Any Sister Abigails around here? Any Sister Abigails in here? Nope. But Alex is always here and she's always eating a burger. I don't think I know how to make burgers yet, but I should try and see if I can make one. Think she likes them. 
I can't believe I don't have any tea for you. I need to grow tea. To grow chamomile or something again next year just to get the tea for you guys. Okay, I'm just going to check my crops. I think they were okay when I last looked at them. Yeah, they're fine. Okay, and let's just go and just see what else I can make in my kitchen to make a little bit of money. I haven't done a lot of like um, brewing or anything like that lately. But I think this is all gonna fall into place, like all of a sudden I think it's just gonna snap into place. Okay, so we've got a lot of juices and things we can make, but I'd much, much rather use like plums and things or other things. Blueberry juice, I can make quite a bit of that. Banana milk, um, no, I'd have to use my, my apples. Let's try making scrambled egg. I want to see how much scrambled egg sells for. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know where that came from. Right, scrambled eggs is 10 gold. That is awful, but it's slightly better. It's not even as good as soup, really, is it? So that was a terrible recipe. Oh. The random mayonnaise uh, coleslaw that uses garlic and lettuce and cheese. Random. I've never tried to make corn cereal. Let's see how much that sells for. 26. It's not awful. It's not great either. Black tea, mint tea, chamomile tea, chai. When I get the ginger substitute, that's going to be really useful for making things like that chai. Coffee. I have 50 ground coffee. I have a feeling I have a lot of unground coffee as well. No, I need those. Black bean and corn salads. Oh, I need the black beans for that. I think I can, might be able to grow black beans in the spring, but that's the first one I've had a, a reason to grow them for. But if I grow loads of corn, loads of onions, loads of tomatoes, then I can use that to uh, take the lemons down a bit. I'm actually going to make one, see how much it sells for. Got a lot of ingredients. 40, it's not, not awful, not, not great either. Lemonade might actually be better. Have a look at cakes. So cakes do take, why have I got no flour? Did I really use it all for cookie batter? No way. No way have I got no flour. All right, I'm not making any cakes today then. Got 70 milk, but I'm trying to kind of keep that a bit. Let's see if there's anything I can make them from the like alcohol section. Need lime juice. Lemonade, whiskey, and sugar. But I certainly have a lot of lemons. Whiskey was the barley, wasn't it? So if I made a load of barley, I could make a whiskey sour because I think that might sell for a lot. The white diamonds also, uh, they sell for about 140 as well. Fish dishes I probably won't be able to make a lot of. Salmon burger, lobster fritter, butter clams, clam chowder, tuna tuna, seaweed salad. We made all the crab quiches. Could make some honey scallops. I could just make these things. Honey scallops. Why not? Yeah, it's for 40. That's not awful. Try this one. Okay. Okay. 
safety. Mm -hmm. I'm honestly thinking I might just be better off making jam. <laughs> right now. The candies I think are worth 20, I think, and then the other things are worth 40. Got loads of dates, loads of lemons. Ice creams aren't worth a whole ton. Fish and chips is worth a lot though. I've not tried like just basic fried eggplants, so let's try that. That's good. That's a really good uh, return for just a bit of oil. Where was I? I was buying the turnip fries and the all that stuff, wasn't I? Cauliflower potato. Okay. Cauliflower potato. Nifty. Not worth it because I'm using a substitute cheese. Substitute cheese is worth 50 on its own. So it's utterly not worth it. Fries. 60. Very worth it. I expect turnip fries might be the same. And considering I can pretty much make oil all year round, that's a very good thing to do. I think I might make like 50 tofu as well. That's worth 15 on its own, which isn't all too bad but you can use it as like quite a few substitutions um, for example there's like a fish and chips so I could make four out of the fish fillets and everything and then we'd have to start substituting they're worth 120 each Do I have enough for any more jewellery and pancakes? Let's have a look at breakfast food. Haven't tried oatmeal. I've got all the stuff I need for fancy oatmeal. Except for the oatmeal. <laughs> Donuts. I just need flour for that. Okay. Lemon pudding. I actually have a lot of the stuff I need for lemon pudding. I forget how much that sells for though. If it sells for something terrible, I won't make it, but... 50, that's all right. But is it better than lemon jam? See, you've got to kind of weigh these things up. Because I've got to use an, an egg and milk instead of just two sugar, but you use one sugar. It's worth 50. It's only worth 10 more than just making lemon jam. Maybe I'll just make lemon jam at that point. And that's what I don't like about this. So I'm going to have to do a lot of uh, milling of flour, I'm guessing. Because I just have nothing. I have no pie crusts. No flour to make cakes. Nothing. So it's a bit annoying. So out of that, I think uh, fish and chips out of the tofu might be a good one. Other than that, if I can make jewellery and pancakes... And that's fantastic, which I think I... Oh, I need flour for that as well. I need flour for everything. Oh, it's so annoying. I don't have any vegetable curries either. Or do I? How do I not have breadfruit? Because I know I do. Not that, I could, not that I've got curry powder. and I've got, I've got a few curry leaves that I could 
grind down, but that wouldn't be something I could easily make in bulk. I'm looking for bulk stuff, and I honestly think jam is going to be the way forward. So I've got date, a lot of lemon. No nutmeg. But rather a lot of pears. And rather a lot of blueberries. Okay. Let's make a hundred blueberry jam. Let's make a hundred lemon jam. This is the problem at the moment. I'm just sort of trying to sort of fill in all the missing ingredients from all of these recipes that I, I can and can't make. Um, all the breads require flour. I can see why we need a lot of flour right now. Yes, yes, I can. How much salt have I got right now? Not a lot at all. Okay. I'm badly running out of sugar as well. Like another 20 fried eggplant. Then I'm just going to need to go and make flour and oil and all that stuff. So I'm just going to go and sell the things that I've made. And uh, before they all go to sleep, get here you, little horse, before they all go to sleep, I'm just going to sell all the bits and pieces, not the tofu. I'll make stuff out of the tofu. I'll put that in the fridge or something. Um, pumpkin spice rum. It, that was like a special item, so I don't want to be selling any of that. Then I'm going to just head down to my windmills and uh, my oil makers and all that stuff, and I'm going to start just making a load of... just processing a load of stuff. I'm too late to see Nicholas today, but that's okay. Right. Wait there for me, Momo. So I'm going to want uh, anything that can be ground. So flour and sugar, I tend to keep the stuff for it in here. So I've definitely got enough wheat to make a good few hundred. And I've just definitely got enough sugar. I will just do... Oh, I've got all rice and things like that. And we do need to do coffee as well. Then I think I'm going to need some avocado. To chuck in the oil maker. Let's see. Yes, a cooking oil. Nice. So you have sunflower oil all year round, except the winter when you have avocado oil, which is going to be fantastic. Let's make me 50 more sugar as well. I've been growing all the stuff for it, I just haven't been milling it. My problem. And we'll do the 200 wheat flour over here. Okay, I've got a few things to put away as well, like sweet spices and all that sort of thing. So, seasonings, herbs and honey. That's my, sort of my seasonings place. Um, I'll put that sweet spice in there. 
I need to turn some of this into some more sweet spice, honestly. I am running a bit low on honey as well. The tofu could go in with the dairy stuff, I think. It's kind of meat, milk, dairy, eggs, all that sort of stuff goes in there. So I think all the meat substitutes should probably go in there too. Just seems to kind of make sense. No, they don't warrant having their own fridge really. Like everything from there needs to go in there. Oil might go in there as well, but I think oil might already be in the herbs and honey one, which is like condiments and seasonings and stuff. Well, it looks like I have no oil left anyway. I only have one wasabi. Which I'll be turning into seeds, I think, come the spring. I won't be using that. Once I've got a lot of wasabi, I could probably do a lot more uh, a lot more stuff with sushi if I go fishing a bit more. So that'll be pretty awesome. Mm. Tiara, I am going to try and get you on side next episode. Or, like, very soon don't think I'll be able to go see Nicholas now because uh, uh, I left that a bit late. So I think at this point, have we been to Spoonie Island today? I can't even remember. I'm going to have to go again and check. I'm determined those trees are not going to die on me. They probably wouldn't have anyway, but I'm just super determined that they're going to survive. It's a snowy day down here today, so that's fine. All the trees are still alive. <laughs> We're on the 23rd. Which actually probably means that tomorrow I could probably go and do a harvest of my... Um, but it doesn't matter. Any time between now and the 28th is fine because I won't get another harvest after this one. Um... But yeah, anytime between now and the 28th, I will need to go down and just grab the last bits off my winter orchard. And then come spring, we will have a lot more orchards to harvest. It'll be very cool. All right, there we go. Just, I might have already checked it that day in the morning, but I just had a feeling that maybe I hadn't. And I'd rather just check up on those feelings. Okay, so now we do have Sebastian at 12 hearts, we're about to get married, we've got Tierra at 8 hearts, and Kimoko at 10 hearts. So what I'm thinking is once I get all the money together that I need for, for these friendos of mine, once I've done that, um, I'm going to be able to, to chill about the farm a bit more. I'll be able to do a bit more planting and stuff, and hopefully they will be helping me out. Honey and mustard, chicken sandwich. Woohoo! We're not going to have long to sleep, are we? Let's do three hours. <laughs> the Zeds are coming to get me. Okay, so that is everything I'm going to do this episode. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more pumpkin days, then please subscribe. And I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.